Improvements have been made to the Repoint Curve functionality in PowerShell 2015 R2. Here you can see I have a curve, I can select it, I've got numbering on, and we have 11 points spaced unevenly along that curve. So we now have new options to repoint that curve. So I'll go to my Repoint Curve dialog. The first option is to repoint by spacing global even. This is going to take the largest number of points on a selection of curves. So I've just got one curve and I've got 11 points. So that's 11 in there. And you can choose a number to put in there or we can leave it as it is. And when I press preview, it's going to respace my points so they are evenly spaced along my curve. So I've kept 11 points, but it's moved them around. Therefore, I have some loss of information here. And our curve is not actually following the original. But I'm told the deviation that my new curve is taking from the original curve. So I've got the max, the mean, and the standard deviation of that. I'm also shown that. The purple is the original line and the yellow is my new curve. So I can add more points in here to get a smaller deviation from my original curve. So I'll put 20 points in and preview. You can see we've now got 20 points evenly spaced along that curve. We've also got a much smaller deviation of 0.8. 08 is our maximum. So we have some other ways to repoint a curve. So we have the option of regular. So what this is going to do, I'll just exit out of the wizard for now and then go back in. It's going to look at the smallest span between two points and it's simply going to add in more points so we have approximately evenly length spans equal to the smallest original span. So this means we're not going to be moving any of our original points, we're just adding new ones in. So we're going to have a lot more points than 11, and it's zero tolerance. So we're going to have a maximum deviation, mean and standard of 0, 0, 0. We can also repoint linearly. What this is going to do, it's quite similar to regular and looks quite similar. But if I preview that, it's not always zero tolerance. It's adding in points but it's also moving the original points slightly to try and get the spans as even length as possible. And this is going to be useful when creating a surface from reverse engineering. We can also repoint by tolerance now. So we can input a specific tolerance. I'll put 0 0.15 and preview that. Now you can see I've got 33 points and I'm within a set tolerance. I can hit apply.